Yeah, over the last 24 hours, Chuck Todd, former President George W. Bush at the Cuyahoga Community College did not criticize the president directly, but said, look, we got a lead. Yesterday, James Mattis told Rajiv Chandrasekharan, and Rajiv came on the show last night to talk about that. First time Mattis has spoken publicly. Don't give them any time. Get in there. And then today, David Petraeus, this is the first time I've heard Petraeus say anything on the record since leaving the agency. Here's what David Petraeus told a think tank audience today. The missile in Iraq should not be overestimated. This, in many respects, is a, it has nowhere near the roots, the numbers, and uh, the structure that al-Qaeda in Iraq and the associated Sunni insurgents had Better when we launched, launched the surge. So I get the sense, and I want to know if you agree with this, Chuck Todd, that former President Bush, General Mattis, who was the Marine uh, Corps' warfighter, David Petraeus, the Army's warfighter, they're all trying to nudge the president to take out ICE before it nests. Uh, by the way, John Kerry, uh, Chuck Hagel, Martin Dempsey, I would say I felt like um, even some members of the president's own National Security Council were trying to nudge him over the last month or two. I mean, I, and so you're right. It's not just those. I think and I think the president's there. I think he's reluctant about it. I think I think they I, I don't know this. You can't crawl inside somebody's head. I think the legacy thing got to him a little bit sitting there going, I got elected to get us out of these wars. And now here I am that this, you know, this isn't going to end. I'm going to hand my successor, but he's there. Um, now he's there with an approach that I think is, is going to be hard, um, to implement because his approach essentially is to try to do the maximum against ISIS with the minimum amount of American, uh, military power, which essentially is always what the country wants, right? The country always wants America to go do all of these things as long as it doesn't cost any American lives, you know, and that's, and I think the president is actually trying to find that policy. I just don't know if that's possible. I think what he's trying to do, and I think Syria's a Pandora's box. I think the Iraq part of this is the easy part. 